the interconnectedness among water molecules by reason of extensive hydrogen bonding and intermolecular forces will result to a closely related emergent properties of water called the adhesion. It refers to a contact or interaction between the liquid and a solid surface caused by an adhesive force between them. This phenomenon is best described by a water in a test tube where water is literally crawling onto the side surface forming an inverted meniscus compared to the right test tube where it is loaded with mercury and having an oozing upward meniscus. Interconnectedness among water molecules by reason of extensive hydrogen bonding and intermolecular forces will result to a related emergent property called cohesiveness. It refers to a forces that holds the molecule to stick and cling to one another together, thereby forming a rounded or spherical shaped water droplet. And this is well depicted on the form of droplet on top of a gabi or a taro lips. And in the same token, adhesion supports the role of water droplet formation. And that if you place a droplet of water on top of a non-polar surface like that of the taro leaves or any form of plastic, the surface will not even get wet nor it will not interact with the water. And this is further supported by cohesion through cohesive forces. Okay. For like the adhesion and cohesion, the extensive hydrogen bonding and the intermolecular forces that creates interconnectedness of water molecule thus exerts its power on what we call the surface tension. And surface tension is being defined as the energy required to increase the surface area, which is dependent on the strength of cohesive forces. And surface tension is well portrayed by a water strider shown below that is able to float and hop on top of a water surface that seems and looks to be magical. While the density of the water strider is higher than the density of water molecule. And by such, it is able to evade or escape its predator. The surface tension can be explained further because hydrogen bonding exerts a limited forces only and this is for the interaction half the edge and by this molecule creates a flat like cover to half and it can even carry a weight further there is no cohesion nor adhesion that is taking place on the opposite water surface and the same story happens when you throw a stone horizontally traversing the water surfaces. And that power is called surface tension. The concept of water is highly important to nurses. And these are for several reasons. The cell thrive in water. The fluid IV regulation to our patient. The fluid input and output monitoring, the pH regulation, and the thermoregulation that concerns the vital sign 
particularly the temperature. At this point, we will look into the microbiological level on the property of water regarding its high heat capacity as it vaporizes. Under the normal body condition at 37 degrees centigrade, water is in a liquid form that is, the water is wet and fluid. It is at its, this state where it is important for cell transport, for temperature regulation, metabolism, and body physiological activity. When water is at liquid, as you may notice, there is a constant motion going on with water molecule. They vibrate back and forth. They slide past each other. And they are in a disarranged form or pattern. Now, as we increase the temperature, let's put some fire. The hydrogen bond breaks. And now they move rapidly. Let's hit some more. Evaporation happens. They move farther apart until they escape. And at this point, body is gradually releasing water in the form of perspiration. And when left uncontrolled, there will be several signs and symptoms of dehydration to occur. On the contrary, or on the opposite, that is when water is subjected to a low temperature, let's put some ice. The water is gradually freezing. The hydrogen bond is being formed and they are now losing energy. They now tend to shrink and they are now arranged in a pattern. They are now being packed closely, highly ordered. Now the ice is being formed and that the water molecule becomes less dense and it causes it to float and that's why the lakes and the ponds freezes. And so therefore, to change the state of water to either solid, liquid, or gas, there must be a change in temperature. A change in temperature is necessary either to cool it down or to heat it up. Transpiration it refers to a water movement through trees and plants, an evaporation from roots to stem, to trunks to leaves, and to the flowers atop a tree. Transpiration is accomplished through a combined effort of adhesion and cohesion. This happens when the water crawls, clings, and adhere to the xylem tube of a tree together with its cohesiveness the water will climb up and will carry the necessary nutrients transpiration is another odd and unique properties of water the ph regulation the measure of a relative amount of free hydrogen and hydroxyl ions in the water are the determinants of pH balance. A water that has a free hydrogen ions would mean it is acidic. However, a water with free hydroxyl ions would be equivalent to basic. Now, since pH can be affected by chemicals in the water, pH is an important indicator of water that is changing chemically and there must be a balance between pH and water as illustrated by 
the clip below. The hydrophilic and the hydrophobic interfaces. Hydrophobic nonpolar molecules will repel the water. Or when a molecule is nonpolar, it is hydrophobic or water heating. Hydrophilic molecules forms ionic or hydrogen bond with a mo water molecule. And that a molecule with a charge is hydrophilic and water loving. Uh, from the illustration below, an oil is being poured into a glass of water. When you mix oil and water together, they will bunch up together. They will just form a two distinct layer. And they will create a condition as immiscible. The hydrophilic and the hydrophobic interfaces of water is derived from a hydrogen bonding properties and polarity. Once again, we have reached the end of discussion. Let us assess and check your comprehension. You may pause the video for a good glance. Enjoy studying. And I hope this material is of help. All the best to you. That's all, folks. This has been your nurse, Rajalohiko Guru, saying thank you for watching and enjoy studying.